This is how I set my wheel bolt torque settings. And to do this, you're going to need a torque wrench and a wheel bolt wrench. The one I use has a socket at the end, which is for 17 millimeter bolts and 19 millimeter bolts. I like to do this job 24 hours or if I've driven 50 to 100 miles after I've had a wheel removed and replaced, say for maintenance or for a tire change. So the first thing I do is using the wheel bolt wrench, I undo the wheel bolts. I don't take them off, I just undo them slightly. And as you can see, one of the bolts is actually a security locking bolt. So I will have to use a separate socket adapter for that bolt. After that, I will get my torque wrench and I will apply the correct Newton meeting settings found in the car manual. To get these settings, undo a locking nut at the bottom of the torque wrench Turn the handle to the correct settings, then reapply the locking nut. I now tighten each wheel bolt using the torque wrench until the torque wrench clicks. The pattern I use to tighten each bolt is to tighten a bolt, then go to a bolt directly opposite. I follow this pattern until all the bolts are tightened. Once completed, I do like to repeat the process, retightening each bolt just to double check. <laughs> Lastly, I undo the locking bolt at the bottom of the torque wrench Undo the handle on the torque wrench to slacken off the spring inside, then I re-tighten the locking bolt at the bottom of the torque wrench. <laughs> 